Hello, this is Overlord Bo, back with another Super U video, and today we'll be showcasing the new Pan American Light Cruiser line featuring the Tier 10 San Martin. So, the San Martin and the other Pan American Light Cruisers uh, will be entering early access starting March 30th. The Tier 5 through 7 ships will be available in the sequential bundles, while the Tier 8 will be the final reward in the Premium Battle Pass reward. Now, the Tier 9 Santander, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, will be potentially a potential drop in the random bundle section. And finally, the Tier 10 San Martin uh, will be available for 20,000 doubloons once you buy all of the random bundles. Now, of course, you can just wait three months and research the ships for free without having to spend any money, which is what I'd highly recommend. And you don't need to spend any of your money on the early access ships. Just resist the urge and spend your doubloons and other things. And your paycheck will thank you for this for sure. Anyways, uh, I'll be giving my general overview of her stats and play style followed by about my commentary about my replays throughout. Now, first up is the captain build and upgrades will be shown on the top right. Unlike the other cruiser lines, I'd highly recommend getting Super Tenant first for the for the extra heal, and the fifth heal uh, will be prove useful if you're constantly using your combat instructions, which you'll be seeing me use throughout the video. Now on the top right, we'll, you'll be able to see the, the armor scheme as shown. Also, the build will also be shown on the... It was already shown, so my bad. Uh, the San Martin is essentially a reused booster hull with a slightly more HP. Uh, now, battleships will frequently overpen her, though cruiser AP will still punish her due to, to the above water citadel. Now, the only notable difference is that the San Martin's rear citadel is notably larger than the Wooster's, so you definitely want to be careful when kiting as cruisers can easily citadel you if not angled properly. That being said, the armor isn't what makes her tanky, it's her amazing repair party. Now, the San Martin's unique repair party heals 80% of citadel damage and up to 30% of the ship's total HP per charge. Now, as long as you don't get death struck, you can pretty much 3D print your way out of trouble. While the cooldown is extremely long, this is where her other gimmick comes in the play, which is the combat instructions. Now, starting at tier six, the Pan American cruisers get access to their unique version of the combat instructions. When activated, they reduce the consumable reload time by 85%. Basically, any consumable on cooldown will be reloaded almost instantly, including DCP. And you'll see this later in the video, but I've used this to pop two super heals in quick succession. It's quite hilarious when a light cruiser becomes an unkillable zombie because you just take fire over and over and over again, but you just don't get killed, which is really hilarious. Now, however, the catch is, is that you need to hit your shots to charge the meter. So 34 shots to be exact. So it's about three or four good salvos is enough to charge the progress bar. And you get a 15 second grace period uh, to where if you miss, if you don't hit anything within that time, it starts going down. But after this, this the progress bar will quickly deplete, which is very frustrating. On the bright side, uh, once you charge up the meter, you can keep it forever until you need it. Now, the dispersion of the guns will be shown on the top right, uh, so you guys can take a look at that uh, throughout for a little bit. Now, Sam Martin's guns are a cross between Minotaur and Des Moines. Like Minnow, she's an AP-only ship with the improved bounce angles. However, San Martin only has half of the middle's DPM, and her shells struggle to arm properly on DDs. Now, she can definitely quickly damage broadside ships, but becomes nearly useless once the enemy angles. Now, while you would think her shells would behave like a Wooster, her shell ballistics are actually nearly identical to the Moin, which I love. This makes it much easier to aim compared to other light cruisers, and the San Martin is also blessed with amazing turrets. Not only do they have excellent fire angles, but they also turn very quickly. The, the first turret and the fourth turret can rotate a full 360 degrees, which makes it awesome when you're trying to kite or do like different maneuvers, so you can keep at least two of your guns on target at all times. Now, as long as the enemy doesn't angle, San Martin can output respectable damage. Now, despite having US cruiser origins, the apparent American light cruiser line gets torpedoes for whatever reason, which are 10.5 kilometers uh, for the tier 10 uh, range is what they are. They aren't amazing by any standard, but they do give you a, a close range option if a ship needs nuking. 
it's a similar story for the anti-air, but on a less happy note. The Sam Martin's anti-air is considerably weaker than the Wooster, sadly, though it is still respectable overall. It is enough to stop tier 8 strikes, though tier 10 and super CVs will go through you without issues. You definitely want to watch out for the Malta's uh, AP dive bombers for sure, because they definitely prey on light cruisers and you are no exception. Now, thankfully, the Sam Martin's airstrikes ASW uh, does do you, you get the airstrike ASW unlike other unfortunate cruisers. Uh, the eight kilometer range isn't the best, but it's definitely better than getting shotgun for trying to get close and using the regular depth charges. Now the drop, but now that you, you can drop enough depth charges on their foreheads and the subs will eventually sink. Now, funny enough, the Sam Martin actually has better concealment than the Wooster, besides being a bigger ship. With the right upgrades, you can reduce it to 9.2 kilometers or 9.1. Yeah, it's 9.2 or 9.1. It's right around there. You guys can let me know in the comments. Uh, it's perfect for ambushing DDs with your 9 kilometer radar. Now, the maneuverability isn't good by light cruiser standards, but it's good enough for most situations. At least you got the Royal Navy DD style hydro that attacks torpedoes for up to three minutes, which is like super fast. Uh, the side note uh, don't run the spider plane ever. Uh, giving up on rudder is definitely not worth the extra range. The Pan American light cruiser playstyle is very unique uh, due to their sheer survivability. Uh, you can charge up the combat instructions by shooting the enemy. And if you take massive damage, then just pop your repair party and watch your ship 3D print itself. Now, once on cooldown, you can pop your combat instructions to, to drop your cooldown to about 25 seconds for your heal. And you pretty much just repeat the process until the enemy dies or you take an unlucky dev strike. Now, the enemies will, will find it frustrating when they leave you on low HP, only to find, only to see your ship come back to life over and over and over again. Now, the Sam Martin's ideal engagement range is 8 through 12 kilometers, uh, roughly the same as the US heavy cruisers. It's definitely focused on the broadside ships as your AP deals minimum damage against angled ships, and you set up crossfires or flanks in your targets to maximize your chances of shooting uh, their broadsides. If there are no better targets, don't be afraid to shoot bow in ships to charge your combat instructions. Now, while Sam Martin can ambush DDs, her AP shells will frequently overpin them, lowering the damage output, which is really frustrating. You definitely want to have teammates at the ready when you do run into DDs, and you can provide the spotting while your team does the damage. Not to say your guns can't deal damage, but don't expect too much once the DDs angle. Otherwise, think of the Sam Martin's playstyle as a defensive version of the Minotaur, training firepower for sheer survivability. Overall, I'd say that I, I definitely had a lot of fun playing the Sam Martin. Yes, she is definitely a fairly gimmicky uh, ship, but these gimmicks combine to create a highly unique experience not seen in any other uh, ship so far. However, she and the rest of the Pan American line is hard to play due to their reliance on those said gimmicks. If you can't hit your shots to charge the combat instructions, then these ships will die qu as quickly as any other ship. Because, uh, for instance, like I was saying about the super heal, the super heal is really, really good, but it has about like a, I believe a two minute cooldown if you don't have the combat instructive active. So you pretty much have to get the combat instructive active to be able to use the heals in quick succession. Because if you don't, then it's not going to go very well for you. But yeah, so, and also dealing with angled enemies is also hard due to the lack of HE. You just you definitely want to get into aggressive positioning is the key to get the most out of these ships. And it's close enough to bait enemies to shooting you, but not so close that you die instantly. It's definitely hard for me to judge her and ranked and claim battles potential just to do, just to do to how unique sh the sh ship line really is. Um, she, does, she definitely does have the sheer survivability in a 1v1 or a 2v2 scenario. But at the same time, she has a firepower issue once the enemy angles. I can see her working in ranked using a similar approach as Napoli. And in clan battles, I think Napoli is still a better option as her survivability isn't reliant on charging up her combat instructions. Uh, radar can definitely be useful, but smart enemies may just ignore her entirely as she only has AP. 
but anyway that is my review of the sam martin um again they'll be going to early access starting march 30th and again you can get the tier five through seven in the sequential bundles uh while the tier eight will be the final reward in the premium battleship uh sorry battle pass reward and the tier nine uh santador will be the potential drop in the random bundle sections and the tier 10 simbar will be available for 20,000 doubloons once you buy all of the random bundles so pretty much with that out of the way i'll just talk about the way i enjoyed or played this ship now when i was playing this particular line or this particular ship the san martin at first i tried playing it like a conventional booster behind islands but but then i figured out i figured out the magic the magic of what did i figure out the magic of oh it was the magic of the beautiful uh the combat instructions with the heel like oh man it is so much fun it's so much fun as you'll see like later in the video because this like for this instance i'm not going to do super well but you'll see later on you're able to just tank so much damage if you time your combat excuse me if you time your combat instruction with the heal so pretty much you use a heal it goes on cooldown you use the combat instruction to get the cooldown down then you use the heal then you get the combat instruction back up then you do it over and over and over again you can pretty much be a walking zombie it's a walking zombie it's just so much fun to do and again and again a lot of battleships will overpin you because of the armors as being super thin but again bat like cruisers or lower caliber battleships will be able to pin you more like a Bergone. uh what else mm, like pretty much like anything like a 380 millimeter below will be able to pin you better like broadside and such due to that uh issue but yeah, as you can see here, I kind of panicked. If I would have went around north around, I would have been able to kill all of them. I made that grave error and like pushing in here. If I would have pushed like around north and around to push them, I would have done a lot better. But I definitely was really scared of the battleships pushing in from up north. So that's kind of why I didn't do it. But just watch, just watch the cooldown for the heal here. I, cause I activate the, I activate the boost and look at that heal cooldown goes on the 20 seconds just oh my goodness this is so much fun to do i love it so much it's just so beautiful it's so lovely so lovely indeed uh but yeah all things must come to an end and i was wanting to go around this island here but I wasn't quick enough and I was being permaspotted by the Mosfa, so uh yeah I, I kind of knew it was gonna come to an end and here you go yeah. so yeah I kind of deserve that so I did do 158,000 damage got three kills five citadels and I was top of the team with 1596 on a loss which I think is pretty impressive so that was definitely uh it was like it was an okay showcasing of the ship it was okay it was all right it was all right it wasn't the best it wasn't the best showcasing of the power of the combat instruction with the heal but in the next match though in the next match you get to have fun with that next all right so this is the match where i you will see like the full fun of it you will see in this one for sure like this will be a lot of fun but so when i first started playing this line first like playing it for like whenever it became final i wasn't a hundred percent like i was like i don't know i wasn't sure what i was walking into because a lot of people thought oh it's just another wooster line or it's another light cruiser line that's not going to do super well but if but that uh that combat instruction really turns this whole line on its head on how it's played because normally you would play this by an island you wouldn't have like a good heal uh you wouldn't do as well you wouldn't be as aggressive but with that combat instruction where you have such a quick cooldown on your heal you can be a lot more aggressive a lot more open watery oh man it's just it's just awesome i love it it's so much fun. I'm super excited 
for whenever this line comes out because I'm, I'm really interested to see the potential the potential stuff that I like the potential play styles I see come from it I'm definitely interested to see kind of like some kind of like I don't think like you could technically do a smoke comp with it you could you don't have to uh with how the but you definitely can I think for sure in ranked it would definitely be a good ship for ranked but for clan battles I'm not really a hundred percent sure yet due to the fact that in ranked it uh you know, like in, in ranked, it's a lot more easy to tell if it's going to be good or bad. But for clan battles, it's a lot more iffy on because like the meta is always changing. There's always a lot of ship bans and all this other stuff. So it's a lot more iffy on if it's going to be good in clan battles or not. So I can only just take a guess on that. I'll definitely see some clans probably try it out whenever it comes out on tech tree or people want to buy it early, which I don't know why they would, but if they do, they do. But yeah, pretty much here. Oh, dude, I felt like I don't know why, but you're gonna see this. But like, look at this. Look at this dude, man. Look at this Delaware. He just. Oh no. He just goes broadside while in his plane mode, and just look at the damage. Look at those damage. Damage. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I love it so much. It's so good. Oh, it's so juicy. I love all the damage. But as you can see, though, as I'm getting further away, like the shells aren't being as effective. So you can kind of notice like the optimal range. But as you can tell, though, like if you have noticed the shell arcs, they are definitely not Wooster shell arcs. They're more like Des Moines. So if you play the Des Moines, Balti, uh, Buffalo lines at all, I did panic. I did panic that heal right there. I was a little worried. I was a little worried. Now, as a tip, you need to notice how I'm using the heal. You see how I'm using the heal right now and how I'm using it, but I didn't pop the cooldown yet. You don't want to pop the combat instructions while a heal is going off because it doesn't help with the cooldown at all until something is actually on the cooldown. So as you can see, I'm not really doing any of, I'm not using my combat instruction yet. I believe for this since I was waiting for my sonar to be done and then I popped it but we'll see we'll see and also here I was just double checking if the turrets are actually 360 which they were let's see did I actually do it let me double check let's see did I do it did I did I yep there you go there you go I did I just wanted to make sure so I did I am kind of disappointed though that the anti isn't good as boosters, but at the same time, like that combat instruction is so nice. And you do get 10.5 kilometer uh, torps, which are really nice on it. Definitely a nice little thing there. I did activate the sonar because I was trying to figure where that sub was. It's kind of a, a dirty, dirty sub. It's the biggest disaster ever. But no, I definitely enjoyed playing the Sand Martin. It's definitely a lot of fun. They've been they've been introducing a lot of interesting gimmicky ships. I know that not everyone is going to like this particular line being in the game. I understand that completely. But at the same time, this is definitely going to be a higher skill level ship where not, like the average player isn't gonna play it well so if an average player tries to go into this ship and do what like i'm gonna be doing it's gonna be a lot more difficult for them also spoiler you're gonna be seeing my aim be absolutely garbage later on the match uh just a forewarning there's a gonna be a terrible aim coming soon so yeah i just wanted to give you guys a warning for that because for for the confederate for the combat instruction to get activated you do have to have what's the word what's i saying um you do have to have uh like hit 34 shots in a row or not in a row you have to have 34 shots hit uh to be able to do that so so yeah you have to have 34 shots hit for it to work 
um, for it to activate. They don't have to be in a row. They just have to be in like in before the t like the 15 second cooldown where it starts going down the progress. So you have to do it before then for sure. So yeah, you do definitely just want to make sure of that and just double check that kind of stuff. So. But yeah, all right. So the fun part is going to be coming up soon uh, with the heal. You're going to, it's, it's going to be coming up soon. But you saw in the last match, in this match, you're going to see it too. Oh, also, I forgot to mention it. This, the, see, the super heal, I don't think I mentioned this, but the super heal also heals up to 80% of Citadel damage, which also includes 80% of like torpedo damage. So you just, you are actually like a walking like tank of like being able to zombie heal it's just crazy it's 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 ridiculous it's pretty crazy it is the most the most crazy of crazies i did activate the heal here and i'm waiting to use the i am waiting to use the combat instructions I am waiting to do that currently because I don't want to activate it too early. That's like a tip I have to like tell you guys because like if you use your common instruction while something's active, it doesn't affect its cooldown until after like whenever it does go on cooldown. It's like, oh man, it's just so good. I love it so much. You also get like, you can also use that trick to just get a lot of DCPs over and over and over again. It's pretty funny to see. It is pretty funny that as you can see my aim is absolute garbage here trying to hit this Bolinsk and I kind of just gave up and decided to go dark yeah now he did now this this Bergone did trick me he was using HD like the whole match and he does switch back to AP sooner or later like I, I thought for sure he was gonna use AP here but he never did which kind of surprised me I thought for sure he was going to but he never did but it would be very interesting if he did, but never did, sadly, so. That is a disaster for sure. But now the fun part, the fun part is gonna be coming up soon against this Bergone. You're gonna, you'll, you'll see it soon. You all will see it soon. It's gonna be a fun part for sure. It's gonna be fun. But yeah, I did do the DCP and I believe after that I activate the, yep, I activate it again. And then I get the DCP right back up, like almost instantly. And it's ugh, just so nice. Super nice, super nice. But for it, for it being a Pan American line, I'm definitely excited to, for the potential of the line. I don't know how many people will be wanting to go, like to get it. I'm not sure how many people are like wanting to do that or not, but we'll see, I guess. I guess we shall the seas. We shall seize for sure. All right. I'll let you guys watch like this madness. Not this madness, but like you'll 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 see what you'll see what happens. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. Because, like, I just do so much damage to Bergal with this AP. This is so nice. He does finally switch to AP, which I'm very happy about. He does finally switch over to AP, which is nice. Finally. He finally does. He finally does, which is very nice. Just like, look at all of that damage. Like, oh, this is so nice. And he dies. Rip. This is the biggest disaster ever. Just, oh, it's so nice. I just like it so much. And after all of that damage is taken, like still look how much heal of, well, well, can't heal anymore, but 
Just look at how much I still like was able to heal up. It's just a lot of healing you're able to do. Oh man, but no, that was a, a definitely a very interesting matches. I did have like a few others I wanted to maybe put on, but at the same time, I felt like these two kind of showcased a little bit of everything with the with the line. So you guys could at least see that for the Sam Martin. But uh, I do appreciate you guys watching the replays and uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the replays because I, I had a lot of fun playing the ship. I did get the Seafy kill, which is also a nice thing as well. They put it 189k, uh, three kills, no citadels though. Got a fireproof dreadnought and a high caliber. Very fancy. I did 2100 base XP. Very nice, very nice. 63k damage to that poor Burgone. Oh man, that poor fella. That poor fella. Biggest disaster of all time. But yep, um, I think that is going to be it. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you guys let me know in the comments down below. But this is Overlord Boat. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. Thank you guys for all being here. Thank you guys for being subscribed to the channel. And yep, I will talk to y'all later. Deuces.